Good afternoon everyone, hope you're all doing well. Welcome to this video. I'm going to touch on a lot of key points. Now, probably you've clicked this video simply because you want to know how to win more business effectively. It is very, very tough out there to win new business, especially with lockdowns, especially with the, you know, the virus floating around, etc. But hopefully by the end of this video, you're going to know, you're going to switch your mindset, you're going to understand the sales cycle a bit better, and you're also going to understand why you haven't been as successful as you know someone like me in winning business so i've worked with hundreds and hundreds maybe even thousands of clients i win new business consistently at a drop of a hat now the important thing to know is there are a lot of processes involved there's you know you just need a basic funnel or a technique or strategy whatever you want to call it to win new business once you can switch that tap on and off in terms of outbound sales you can win new business essentially anytime. I can operate in any industry. I can start an agency anywhere and I can have clients by in a few weeks. I made a video a few few days back or a few weeks back and it was how to win a client in 24 hours. I won a client in 24 hours after making that video um, from that lead list. So it is a perfect, perfect technique that I taught in that video. So if you do want to watch that, there's a link in the description. So go ahead and just watch that. That's perfect. So what are the techniques now before i get into the techniques or the best way to actually win new clients you have to understand the position of the client the client is using recruiters out of necessity most of the time either 90 percent of the time they can't find the person themselves why would they pay someone if they could the other 10 percent of the time they just want to outsource the work and they just need assistance either they are doing their own internal recruitment so I'll give you an example. There's a company with an internal recruiter or a HR manager, but they have 30 positions on. They've got a massive project coming up. They've you know acquired a new business, which happens all the time, and they need to grow their sales team or they need to just add to their existing team. That person isn't going to be able to recruit that many people in that short space of time. Sometimes it's by the end of the month, you need to recruit 30 people. So they have to outsource some of it to recruitment and so on. The other 90% is they need a particular skill set and they can't find it. Now, what, what is the options? They either wait and wait and wait. Sometimes they're waiting six months and there's no chance they're going to find someone. Nobody is applying. Nobody wants to work there. Whatever the reason, they have to find somebody urgently now. So their task is to go to a recruitment agency or have a recruitment agency approach them and then they, they obviously offer the, the contract out. Now, the thing to know is recruitment is very, very highly saturated. And the reason it's highly saturated is because it's heavily profitable. You can literally make thousands and thousands, even millions recruiting from home. I know someone that's a million pound recruiter per year that works from home. Granted, she has a massive, massive contract, but it is possible that you can do that. You can also scale your business very, very quickly. You can make a good living, you can make an average living, but essentially you're bidding on contracts from the client side. One client can easily give you a quarter of a million pounds in revenue or profit per year from one client. If you manage to win a good client that pays well and you can find the people that they can't. So imagine as a businessman or somebody with a bit of cash and you're looking to grow a business and you know nothing about it, it's very easy to set up. A recruitment agency maybe you might want to just buy an office and you hire five people and you say to them you have to make money so essentially you're bidding against a lot of business people a lot of experienced recruiters that after two years working for an agency they go off and they start their own agency so essentially you're competing with all these type of different type of people you've also got companies that are saying to their consultants you have to make 60 calls a day you have to email this many people a day so there is a lot floating around. If let's say there's 10,000 recruiters all making, let's say, 100 calls a day, you're looking at 100,000 calls going out per day in the recruitment sector. There's probably more, there's probably less. Um, well, that doesn't make sense. Probably more, probably less. There's probably less than that happening, but just from a mathematical point of view. So imagine if there's not that many you know, companies out there, um, it would be much easier. However, the reality is, sadly, it's a very competitive industry. So how do you stand out? How do you cut out the noise and get 
that contract that you're looking for. So there's a lot of reasons you can, and there's a lot of techniques. So how to get a client will touch on the actual best strategy. So I've tried it all. I've worked at companies with no experience and I've been told you have to cold call. And I've said this numerous times on my videos, you have to cold call. That's it. That's how we've always done it. And that's the best way. Even I've, I've gone to directors and I said, look, I'm winning business through email. I'm winning it through LinkedIn. They say, okay, great, but make sure your calls are still being made. It was like talking to a brick wall. So I thought to myself, it was only one really good manager that supported me and saw my strategies were working before starting my own agencies and, you know, doing some consultant work. So the best strategy, I'm sure if you've seen other videos, is via email. So how do you do it via email? So it isn't just going on and emailing people and hopefully winning the business. You have to be experienced. You have to know what to say. I Obviously, I've taught people and I've said, look, this is how you do it. This is just send the emails and then people will come back to you. People don't just say, here's the contract. So we're going to sign it straight away. Actually, some do. Um, but some are looking at um, answer, ask, asking questions, rebuttals. We have a PSL. What can I had a question yesterday. What can you offer us that your PSL can't? We get these emails all the time. So I know for a fact what I sent back to them actually will win me the contract. So if you didn't know that and you didn't have the experience, you wouldn't be able to do that. So it is just a lot of it is bound down to experience, trial and error. Not something that someone can teach, not something that's in a course that you can buy. It's literally just from experience. So that is the number one key point I want to sort of elaborate on. The techniques are there. It's like if I said to you, oh, let's learn karate. And I said, all right, great. This is how you do this move, etc." Unless I practice and I find out, hold on a minute, I've done that move and then he kicked me in the face. You're going to know for a fact that you know, a recruiter's job isn't just when you're winning business, isn't just to send emails. It's to deal with the objections and how, how you, how you're perceived by email as well. Can you get them on the phone? Can, do they want to get you on the phone? Can you get the terms signed? What happens if the terms don't come back? What happens if you sent the terms? All these, all these problems will come up. So the best email, the best strategy to actually win business hands down is via email and you need a strategy. You need a proven strategy. And it comes from market analysis, knowing your market well. So let's say you're recruiting in the finance space and you're recruiting for payroll assistants, uh, finance managers, and let's say uh, chief of finance. And you know for a fact, in London, no company ever comes back to you. Everyone's rude on the phone. Everyone says, look, we can find people, no problem. But let's say you recruit and you email uh, or you call companies in Manchester. All of a sudden, you start to get a lot of replies. You start to get a lot of people coming back to you. And what you want to do with that strategy is to implement it and to home in on it. When you start off, you're going to be emailing pretty much everyone. You might not even know what niche. You don't even know what job titles you are. You don't even know if you've missed a market. You might want to try a different market that you're recruiting in. So, <coughs> excuse me, essentially... It's about learning where the demand is. Once you work out the demand and you've got a strategy behind you, you can literally turn the tap on and off. I operate in the health healthcare sector. I also operate in two other sectors. So I know for a fact, if I need new business, I know where the business is. I know what job title companies can't find. So if I'm emailing companies, let's say a customer service position in this climate where a lot of people are out of work looking for entry level positions. If I email a client and they don't come back to me, it's not because they're rude. It's because they don't need my service. They don't need help. There's no essential, essential need for me. Like I said before, 90% of clients only use recruiters out of necessity. The other 10% just want to outsource. And then that contract's finished. Goodbye. But if you're looking at positions that are hard to fill, if you email about, let's say, doctors and a company, I know for a fact, pretty much every company recruiting for doctors will need assistance at some point or have a specialist internal recruiter that has done that for an agency before. An agency recruiter will hands down be any internal team any day. 
you show me an average re agency recruiter and a top of the range internal recruiter and that agency recruiter will be that internal recruiter every single time every single time um no one's ever proved me wrong i challenge you show me a recruiter against me and we'll see what happens but in terms of the the point i'm trying to make is you have to know where the demand is you have to know your market that's essential in terms of not just the technique because i could have the greatest email campaign you know i send videos out and you know there's a follow up campaign and i send them gifts but if there's no need you're wasting your time so if you're emailing a lot of people come to me and say oh, look i want to start a customer service agency because they're, you know, for, for whatever reason, they think it's very easy to recruit, which it is. All you do is post an advert and you've got 500 applicants the next day. But why would a client pay you to find them? So essentially, as an agency recruiter, what you're doing is you're recruiting for hard positions to fill. This is why a lot of people leave the industry, because all you're recruiting for is really, really tough positions. However, the golden, golden area is where you find positions or you find a niche where you, as a recruiter, your techniques, your recruitment techniques, can actually find people where you can find people but the clients can't, or they won't spend the time. For example, if you're on LinkedIn and you message loads of people and people always come back to you and say, yeah, I'll be interested in you know, going for an interview, a client isn't gonna do that. So a client will be looking at just posting an advert that's the limit to their their recruitment usually if they've got an internal team they might use a job board to source cvs or maybe go on linkedin however they're that's very very reluctant especially if they're just a hr function they haven't got time to commit all day to recruiting and speaking to people let alone interviewing and they will only interview and they will only come back to cvs weeks later where that candidate's gone and they will also only interview on a certain day. They won't interview like a recruiter. If someone called me now for a position I'm recruiting, I'll take their call immediately. I'll arrange it straight away because I know they, they potentially could be a good match. Uh, a HR recruiter will say, oh, are you available next week, Wednesday? By then, an agency's called them and they've lost. They've lost that candidate. So going back to the point, it's not just about the technique. It's about knowing your market, recruiting well, also understanding the client's needs, what market is where the demand is, and literally taking it from there. It's not essentially just building up a funnel, emailing people, and you're getting good results. The best way you're gonna get results instantly, or your best conversion rate, or your best client acquisition rate, is to know your market well, have a great strategy, and literally take it from there. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I've rambled on as usual, I'm a waffler, but, I didn't want to make this an hour longer video I could so I hope this helped and hope to yeah so check out my other videos take care